Dragon Age Origins Awakening, it was rated M for Mature by the ESRB and contains blood, intense violence, language, partial nudity, and sexual content. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, my name is Emma Ronith and I play games for the internet and today we're playing Dragon Age Origins Awakening. Last time we uh, found, got our new companion, Nathaniel Howe, uh, who wants us dead. So, you know, business as usual. Uh, and we discovered that there is a plot against us but amongst the nobles. So, uh, business as usual. Again. In the meantime, here is Vigil's Keep, and we are... Look at that! <laughs> Was Andraste really that much of a looker? Don't you think she would have been, I don't know, a barbarian? Mm. Aren't all humans? <laughs> Got me there. What would she have thought of the Circle of Magi? Forcing mages to fight demons, or be made tranquil. Hmm. She'd probably be confused by it. No doubt you're right. Seems to me that Andraste counseled men to seek their own path to the Maker, but the Chantry uses her words as a reason to collar us just for being who we are. I completely agree. That's so sweet of you. I'm all a tingle. Oh well. She's still quite a looker for a prophet. I'm just saying. <laughs> Anders approves plus ten. You don't always wear robes, do you? Not when I'm naked, I don't. I mean when you run from the circle. Robes would make you easy to spot. So does the big I'm a mage sign around my neck. <laughs> I like to make it easy for the Templars. Ah. So that's how it's going to be. Ah, <sighs> children, please. Wait a Did minute. Did we have to come all this way? It's cold here, very cold. <sighs> it's not that cold. The wardens have been some of our best customers, and they need us. I miss my shop. This place is so drab, it offends my sensibilities. Andraste, preserve me. I thought you hated me, Heren. Ah, Warden Commander. I represent Master Wade, the finest... And bloody coldest. I can't feel my fingers. <clears throat> finest armorer in Denerim. <laughs> I thought, well, we thought that you might have need of an armorer. Master Wade, I remember you. The drag skill armor, right? My one glittering moment, the highlight of my career, and now I'm stuck at Turnip Keep. Vigil's Keep, Vigil. Sorry, Warden Commander, you know how he gets. What brings you here? This is a temporary relocation. The Darkspawn are most active around Amaranthine. We thought we could help. And I suppose the money the Crown paid us had nothing to do with it? Shh. <laughs> My men will need armor. Providing arms and armor for common soldiers of oh, the indignity. If we are going to be so dreadfully plebeian, I don't suppose Amaranthine has any proper medal. Silverite, viridium, or are we back to bronze weapons, stone clubs? Wade has uh, a point. He's happiest and fastest when presented with a challenge. If you come across any deposits of ore, let us know. Let me see your shop. Oh, of course. Storm chaser. God damn it. Too expensive. Uh, rain swept. Clamshell. You. 
Manual focus. Hmm. Panaka or panacea. Yeah, panacea. Uh, all right, nothing we can get now. Ogren. Elemental requirements. Ogren. You're back. You need anything? Mm -hmm. oh, of course. Ta. I emptied out my stores blasting those dark spawn. Once we're done with repairs, we should talk. Indeed. Commander. So this is human construction, is it? My brother said you'd need a stonemason, but he didn't know the half of it. Welcome to the vigil. You're too kind. The Darkspawn did a number on this keep of yours, but I suspect it was crumbling well before they showed up. Your seneschal gave me some fancy decree promising men and monies to fix the vigil, but it's a paltry sum. I suppose it would be sufficient to reconstruct the walls to human standards, but who'd want that? <laughs> I might regret this. What would it take to rebuild it right? I'm not certain of the character of the stone in these parts, but we'd need more men for certain. Proper skilled men, not some starving dusters, right? Which all boils down to coin, really. Well, I need sovereigns do. I can raise that much in time. Don't take too long about it. It'll take a while to rebuild, and the dark spawn aren't patient. Cost of doing business. And finally. I don't mean to alarm you, Commander, but it's possible there are still dark spawn in the vigil. The captain didn't mention anything about that. Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. I'm good at killing darkspawn, but not at digging. We have men who can unearth the rubble at your command. Whenever you're ready, I can take you to the basements. Let's go then. Straight away, sir. <sighs> uh, hello. Sorry, I have Harley right here next to me. Here yes. we are. The vigil goes deep. Real deep. The hallways down here have been crumbling for years and decades. And that uh -huh. blasted Dworkin's explosives didn't do the structure any favors. How far down did the basements go? No one knows. The vigil's always been here. Since the barbarians, they say. Who knows what's at the bottom? How did the dark spawn get down here? I don't know, but no one saw the Darkspawn approach on the surface either. Maybe they found a way to attack from below. Have the men clear the rubble. You heard the commander. Put your backs into it. This is where you come in. Who knows what's up ahead? We'll be back here. It comes from beneath. Uh, the dirty little dwarf, aren't you? You're quite the dirty little mage. I do my best. Still, I'm no ale-swilling mountain of belches like you. And I'm no winking, slack-jawed coward like you. True. We should form a club. Right. As you wish. This Mobaria seems greatly distressed. Her fur is patchy and caked with dirt and blood. 
try to comfort the dog. Success! You pet the dog gently, calming her. You also find a small scroll bound to her. Take the scroll. A woman named Adria writes that she has taken refuge in the lower levels of the keep. Adria? Adria. She was... She was like a mother to me. We must save her. Okay. Oh. How old do you think this place is? It's a little dark, isn't it? What is that smell? Warrior statue. Ooh. This should be easy enough. The Great Strife. Depending on where this episode ends. Let's go, Jimothy! Started. All right. Right. From Rendon How. On it. Let's get started. Okay, 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 okay. Let's get started. A small plaque reads Androste was bathed in fire before the maker's eyes. A This should be easy enough. Oh nice. Right. Correspondence. Delilah Howe's love letters. Fire. 
Oh, thank the Maker. Please, let us out. You're free. Run! Quick, before more of those things come. I'm not about to leave them locked up while there's Darkspawn running about. Oh, no. No, no Adria. We have to help her. There must be some way. Adria. It's a little dark, isn't it? Ring of mastery. Letter. Message. Friend and how. Gold earring. Right. Iridium. You murdered a slew of darkspawn there. I, well. You hear the stories about you and the Wardens, but to see it firsthand. <laughs> the other, the other Wardens didn't inspire you. Oh, they did too. Even though the attack was a surprise, they killed droves of Darkspawn. Just ask the poor maids who have to clean it up. But you, you're something else. Anyway, it looks like the explosives caved this section in. I brought along Master Voldrick. So, this is how you humans ply your stonecraft. Disgraceful, that is. What, this would barely last a few centuries. I wager these passages may go far enough to connect to the deep roads. Would this cave and stop them if they return? This? Hardly. Give me a few dwarves and we could have her cleared in a week. This is a grave matter. If we don't shut these tunnels, the Darkspawn can attack from below again. And Draste's blood. There are basement entrances throughout the keep. There's no way to defend against that. Then we follow the tunnels and hope to find a single point to block off. Never you fear, lass. With the Warden's muscle and my stonecraft, we'll find a way. Let me know as soon as you clear the passages. We'll need some time. But as soon as we clear it, we'll let you know. Give me a few moments. Of course. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. This should be easy enough. Crypt is old, really old. I bet it was here before the current keep was built. Huh. have that key yet. key yet either. Uh, hello, Harley. Oh? Hmm? You all might... Remember that my 
cat's name is Harley. Let's get started. Don't have that key. Oh, Kivel. There we go. On it. Is this what I think it is? It is. That's the How Crest burned into the wood right there. This is my grandfather's bow. Or rather, my grandfather was the last to use it. It was originally made for an ancestor during the Exalted Marches. Why wasn't it used afterwards? Well, my father hid it away, I guess. I'm surprised he didn't simply have it destroyed. I remember finding it before Father sent me to the Free Marches. A shame for it to sit in storage. Thank you. It's good to have a part of my family's legacy again. Something to be proud of. And he immediately swaps to using it. Um, yeah, if you look at the Halbo, it's pretty good. So we're going to have to come back here when we find more keys, but yeah, we're good for now. Um, sucks about a dryer though. Are you ready? Let's go back to the keep. Of course. So they'll be. We'll have to keep an eye out for when that mission is done. How do the Templars done? always find you, Anders? Incredibly angry. That's how they find me. There must be some trick to it, surely. They began recruiting women. The male Templars never stopped to ask for directions. You're impossible to talk to. I do my best. Right. And. Delilah Howe's love letters. Yes, 
I know. Oh, I've always wanted one of these. That seems weird. Uh, Anders likes shiny things and cats. So. Ooh, for me. Ooh. And Ogren, as we know. By my ancestors, this is a wonderful gift. Yeah. As we knew. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Okay. We found that viridium. You're back. You need anything? Found an ore deposit. Oh, this will help a great deal. Viridium? Armor and weapons could be made with this. Commander, if you like, we could outfit your men. It wouldn't cost you anything, but some soldiers would have to guard the miners. You'll have your guards. My men need better gear. So I'm to make armor for all Amaranthine's rabble? Helen, you abuse me so it's unconscionable. Commander's orders. Fine, fine, I'll work. But I want a challenge one day. Something to sink my teeth into. Oh my. But right, right, right. Um Samuel. Groundskeeper Samuel. Is that you? Who? Make his breath. If it isn't little Nate. I'd know that face anywhere. Groundskeeper, I am overjoyed that you stayed on. Please, do you know how my brother died? And my sister? I was in the free marches. Your brother died in the war. And Lady Delilah, don't you know? She isn't dead, son. Not that I know of. Last I heard, she married a storekeep in Amaranthine. Don't know which one. Poor girl. Did you hear that? My sister is alive. That's wonderful news. Could we ask around the shops next time we're in Amaranthine? We could take a look, yes. Thank you. I would be interested to know just what happened to her. Oh, yay. Ugh. All right, let's... Is there anything else? As you wish. Yoink. It's a kitten. <sighs> Hungry little fella. Oh, yoink. We take the cat with us. Mm -hmm. Yes! Mew! Remember what I said about Anders and liking cats? Oh, look at the cute little kitty! There was a mouser in the tower named Mr. Wiggums. Only company I had when the Templars locked me up. Miss that beast a lot sometimes. But I can't keep a cat. We fight Darkspawn for a living. He can stay at the keep, then. I suppose. Well, I'll keep him just for a while, until I find somewhere safer. Is that okay with you, Kitty? I'll call you Sir Pounce a lot. You can stay in my pack. Just for a little while, yes? <laughs> All right. Over here is a wooden crate. Yank. All right. That's all for the outside of Vigil's Keep. So it seems. Let's go to the Chernobyl Estate. It's just over there and really? 
Well, wait, what? Excuse me? Victory, in peace, vigilance, in death, sacrifice. The Grey Warden Oath. Oh no! <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna end it here and I'll redo what I did and I'll meet you back at Chernobyl, the Chernobyl state at the start of the next episode. <sighs> Until then! Bye-bye.